Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to talk to you about the time tracker built into QuickBooks Online. So what I'm going to use is my sample QuickBooks Online file. In the upper left hand corner, there's this plus sign for new. And then under the employees column, there's single time activity and weekly timesheet. What I want to talk to you about is how you can use this to keep track of your time and make sure you bill your time back to customers or clients as appropriate. This isn't your only option for time tracking. This is just the option that's built into QuickBooks Online. If you take a look at this and you like the idea, but it's not quite right, I have a couple ideas for you. So the first idea is to go to a website called apps.com, A-P-P-S dot com. Apps.com is a list of applications that integrate with QuickBooks Online. If you scroll down to where it says find the right apps for your business, I usually type in something simple like the word time. There's 75 different apps that'll integrate with QuickBooks that'll do some sort of time tracking. So I'm gonna show you this, uh, the way that it works within the QuickBooks Online software. And if that's not exactly right for you, if you want something that has like a, a stopwatch capability, maybe one of these other apps is gonna be a good fit. If you're not wanting to vet these other apps, the app that I have the most experience with and like the most is T-Sheets, T, like time, sheets.com. Um, T-Sheets was founded by a guy in Idaho. He sold the business to Intuit. So now Intuit, the makers of QuickBooks, owns this application. So it, it has phenomenal support and works really well. May not be the perfect fit for everybody. My second suggestion for you is this Clock Shark time tracking. I haven't used it personally, but many of my accounting friends have used it and they think it's fantastic. So that's my two recommendations if you don't feel like sorting through all of these. But back to the original plan. I wanna to talk to you about what's built into QuickBooks and how it's awesome and how it might help you. So upper left-hand corner, I'm gonna click on new and I'm gonna to go to single time activity. So this, it's either or. Either you do single time activity or you do weekly timesheet, but you shouldn't do both because you don't wanna make a mess out of things. We'll say we're going to work on something today, and the person doing the work is Rachel, the contractor. So you can choose whether you're, the contractor is entering their time or the employees are entering their time, ho however it works out best for you. The cost per hour, this is for you to keep track of how much money did you spend for your person. So we'll say the cost per hour is $100. And then the customer or project. So we'll say that customer A is who I'm going to work on and I'm gonna bill this work out at $200 an hour. Is this work that I'm doing taxable? It's not, so I'm not gonna check the taxable box. I'm gonna skip location and class because those are for different videos that I've created. And I'm gonna say that I did one hour's worth of work. So I did one hour, the summary says one hour at $200 an hour, right? That's what I'm billing my customer. And it's billable. And then I'll put notes. So notes about work done on 420, go here. Okay. So in the lower right hand corner, I'm going to say save and close. Imagine that you do that for all your clients, right? So you're working on stuff and you're saying, I, I want to make sure I remember to build this to my client. So I'm going to log my time. Maybe you're not going to bill your client. You're still, you're going to log all your time. And then later when it's time to bill your client, maybe you do once a month billing, you'll go to the upper left hand corner, you'll click on new, under the column for customers, you'll go to invoice. And remember this was for customer A. I type faster than my internet thinks apparently. Over to the right hand side, you can see I've done this video a couple of times. I, I have all my billable time, right? This is the time that I've previously entered into my timesheet and I've said this is billable and have not yet added it to my client's invoice. So I'm gonna scroll down. I'm just gonna add this one from today. So it's today's date, one hour. I'm gonna choose add. When I click add, it takes it out of the drawer on the, on the right hand side and it adds it to my invoice. 
So all the notes that I put, they show up here on my invoice. If I had any spelling errors, it's going to give me the red squiggle so that I can fix my spelling error. Anything I want to modify, I can modify. So modified. And then my quantity, that automatically fills in. The rate automatically fills in. I can change that if I need to or if I want to. And then when I'm happy, I can say save and send or save, save and close. So for this, I'm just going to say save and close. So now if I create an invoice for customer A, so I want you to see that it's no longer uh, available to get billed, right? I can't accidentally bill it to my customer twice. I type in customer A. The drawer opens, all this other stuff I've not previously billed shows up, but the time from today, it's not here. And it's not here because I've already billed it to my customer. So that's perfect. I just wanted you to see that you can't accidentally you're not likely to accidentally bill a customer for the same time twice. So let me show you the weekly timesheet. It's the same concept. So click on the plus sign, choose weekly timesheet. So rate to the contractor, what week are they working? So this was on my daily timesheet. So let's say that I did more work. The only thing that I don't like about the weekly timesheet is that I can't update my notes. So I have been in situations where I've kept track of my time and I've had to make really good notes about what I did each time I worked on something. That's a situation where I use the single timesheet. Let me wipe this out. Working on remodel project. Okay, maybe you don't need to differentiate and say what specifically you are doing. You can just, you know, give it a generic uh, name like that. And then I was also pop-ups. Also, I was working on customer A1, and then I did this for an hour here and there, and then the notes, and you can mark it billable or not billable, right? So we'll say this one was $100 an hour. So this is a different route to the same place, right? You can say, I've worked on this thing. Here are my notes. Here's the customer I've worked on. Here's my total number of hours for the week. Here's my breakdown. Is the business owner, you can see the cost and the billable. So the cost, it cost me $1,300 and I'm billing out 26. So I can see I'm making $1,300 on this. When you're happy, you can click the lower right hand corner and say save and close. One of the nice things about marking stuff as billable like this is if you work on a client you don't normally work on, you can always generate a report that says, show me any unbilled time. So that way you don't forget to invoice somebody. This definitely happens for me. I have a client that I do work for maybe, you know, three or four times a year. Um, and if I don't remember to double check this, I might accidentally forget to bill something. I'm not going to go back and bill it a couple months later. That would just be embarrassing. So what I'm going to do, and I, I clicked without talking. So let me show you this. On the left-hand side, click on the word reports. In the upper right-hand corner where it says find by report name, search unbilled. Mm time. Um, okay, so we'll say uninvoiced time. In QuickBooks desktop, it's called unbilled time. So you, you search for unbilled time, and then you can see the time that you've not previously billed out. So that way you can make sure to generate those invoices and bill that time. So this is just one way of, of tracking and billing your time in QuickBooks. Like I said, if you find yourself needing more of a stopwatch kind of situation, look for an app on the App Store that'll do that. It will then integrate with QuickBooks. So it'll sync to your customer. It'll sync for what services you've provided. It'll sync the, the number of hours as well as the notes. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions about QuickBooks or about time tracking, um, leave a note in the comments and I'll do what I can to help you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.